Jerry was back on his raft, daydreaming after his Hamilton adventures. He was drifting towards St. Catharines and didn't realize that he was 90 meters from one of Canada's most amazing national historic sites. In the middle of Lake Ontario? No way! Way. Way down, actually. Down there? Yep. But you can't just die. <sighs> Jerry, the water pressure's too strong. It's too deep for a rat. Correction, a muskrat. Oh, oh, my head. Thanks, narrator dude. Um, I didn't do that. No, I did. Captain Nemo, dude. Where are we? When are we? Allow me to shed some light. Whoa! This is the wreck of the Hamilton. Its sister ship, the Skirt, lies not far away. Two magnificently preserved shipwrecks from the War of 1812. So, I've jumped back in time again? No, this is your present day. These ships have stayed intact for over 200 years, thanks to the depth of the water, the lack of oxygen, low temperatures, and low light. The Hamilton and the Skirt were merchant ships converted into warships for the American Navy to fight against the British. They sank in battle? No, they capsized in a sudden storm that hit at midnight on August 8th, 1813. More than 50 sailors died, but one of them lived to tell his tale. Come inside, I'll tell it to you. Do you have any popcorn? No. Captain Nemo pulls out a book, A Life Before the Mast, by James Fenimore Cooper, one of America's most famous authors. The sailor who lived, Ned Myers, told his story to Cooper. I awoke in consequence of large drops of rain falling on my face. When I opened my eyes, it was so dark, I could not see the length of the deck. The thunder came at the next instant, and with it a rushing of winds that barely smothered the cloud. Our decks seemed on fire, and yet I could see nothing. I heard no hail, no order, no call. But the schooner was filled with the shrieks and cries of the men to leave it, who were lying jammed under the guns, shot boxes, shot, and other heavy things that had gone down as the vessel fell over. This is the final resting place of these vessels, and those 53 sailors who died in service to their country. That was over 200 years ago, but the stories of the Hamilton and the Scourge are far from over. Oh. The city is protecting these pieces of underwater cultural heritage in situ, in their final resting place. It's completing a 3D scan of the vessels in order to fully map the site using remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs. No one is allowed down here without being granted an archaeological license by the province of Ontario. <clears throat> or <laughs> Captain Nemo, of course. But for the moment, Jerry, just remember, whenever you're on the surface of water, there's a whole world of stories underneath.